Hello everybody, welcome to Being Civil. By watching this video till the end, you will be able to apply any kind of moving load on any kind of structure. It may be a vehicle moving on a bridge, maybe a monorail moving on a beam, or can be a crane moving on a crane cutter. So let's start. In this video, we will first model this bridge deck of 8 meter by 25 meter and then apply a moving load which will move along a single beam and then apply a vehicle load which have some width and moves along two beams. So let us quickly model it first. So we have done with the modeling part. Now we have to go to the load and definition. First you have to create the vehicle definition. Expand definition and vehicle definition click on add. The vehicle type reference is 1 and the width is 0. In the first case the, the load is moving on a single beam so width will be 0. You see there are 3 wheel loads and the in between distance is 2. The load say 10 kN you don't need to give the minus sign because that positive sign here gives downward load. Again 10 and at distance of 2 hit the down arrow key 10 2 click on add. So you have successfully created the vehicle definition. Now go to the load case detail click on add. First create a primary load case for the self weight. Select this load case 1 click on add add a self weight click on add select this self weight and assign to view. So the self weight is successfully added. Now click on load case details again and click on add. Click on load generation. And here you have to put the number of loads to be generated. To know the number of loads to be generated, you have to first finalize the incremental step of your moving load. It means the distance by which your vehicle will move in each step. So this is the initial position of our load and this is the final position. So you have to give some incremental distance by which these three loads will move in each step. In this video we will use 0.5 meter as our incremental distance. If you use less value then the number of moving load generated will be more. This is the initial position of the load and this is the final position. So the loads will move by distance of 25 plus 429. So the number of load case generated will be the total distance by the increment and plus 1 59 this is the number of load cases to be generated so select the load cases click on add load generation and write down 59 here in this each generated cases if you want to add any one primary load cases that is maybe a self void of these beams then you have to add it from here you see this one is the self void of the structure this and click on add now you have to give the initial position click on this click on add type is one the initial position of the load that you have to give the coordinate you have to give the coordinate of this point this point is 0 0 this one is 4 0 0 so this point will be 4 0 minus 4 and write down here 4 0 minus 4 and the load will move in positive z direction so you have to write down in z increment 0 0.5 click on add you see here the all the load cases has been generated but you can't view this because you have to analyze it first. Click on analysis and print and no print. Click on add run analysis. Uh, here you will get some warnings because in our case some of the parts of the, our loads are not within this structure. So you can ignore these warnings. Select this load cursor and you see the loads has been generated. Now let us create the second type of vehicle. Load and definition, go to definition, vehicle definition, click on add. Number two, 
the width in our case it is this is 2 this is 2 the vehicle width will be 4 so type 2 has been added click on load case details click on add load generation here it is again 59 add it here here you have to change this type type 2 and the initial position so this point is 200 0. the initial point will be this point 20 minus 4 so write down 20 minus 4 here and z increment point 0.5 click on add so you see it is starting from here and the width is 4 run a quick analysis you can see the moving load generated now to know the bending moment diagram turn on this bending moment you can see how it is changing due to the loads moving that's all friends hope you like this video give us a thumbs up share with your friends see you in the next video